Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at two bike bells that I purchased off of the internet. The first one on your left here is from West Biking. They make a lot of bicycle stuff on the inexpensive side. Uh, purchased this one's off of AliExpress, built by again West Biking. The one on the right is a no-name brand dual bell that I purchased off of Amazon. This one took <laughs> unbelievably I ordered this on July the 9th and it's August the 13th. Took a really long time to get here from China. Both of these of course came from China but this one I ordered I had it actually ordered maybe a week later and it actually got here first. I've been using this one. Uh, I might have got this one in two weeks. I think I've been using this one for about two weeks on my bicycle. This one just came in the mail today. We're going to be looking at the diameter. We're going to be looking at the tone. And we're going to be looking at the volume. Again, both of these were very inexpensive. This one on the left by West Biking is made out of copper is what it said. It has uh, come a little closer here. Got these little springs in there. This is actually called, this type of veil, this slender ring thing, it says vintage on West Biking. I didn't realize these were vintage bells. I remember the little round, y'all remember the little round bells. Uh, I thought those would be called vintage bells, but it says vintage. <laughs> what do I know? Has these little springs in that cause, helps it vibrate. This little nice little piece here um, on a spring, or should I say spring loaded, and you pull that back and it makes a nice little tone. Uh, again, I've been using this one for about two weeks. This one just got in today. This is a dual band setup. You have two separate, uh, this is made out of aluminum uh, versus this one says it's out of copper uh, material. Same type setup. One thumb thing here. You pull back and you can hear the difference in the tones. We're going to be looking at the tones again here pretty soon. This one was only 319. 319 AliExpress. 499. I'm sorry. 319. Amazon and $4.99, five bucks from AliExpress. So let's take a look at the difference in the diameter first. Let me grab my little measuring tool here, turn it on. And immediately you can see right off the top that this one has a much larger ring size in the middle and this one is much smaller. This one came with a bunch of stuff in the packet. Uh, a lot of it's already on my bicycle. You get this, uh, this is kind of a plastic collar thing here. You get some rubber and some rubbery material, some sticky material. You get all kind of materials to make this fit. So for versatility sake, as far as where you can mount these on your handlebars, this one is much more versatile. This one's have to go on the skinniest part of your handlebar. And especially if you have quick shifters like on my bike, it's not going to fit further inwards towards the neck of the handlebar because the handlebar usually starts out thin of the inner pieces and then it thickens as it goes toward me. So I have to move this up much further away than I would like it to be, but I had no choice because again of the quick shifters were in the way. The middle diameter of this one, let me zero this out, is, see that 1.2 inches? We'll turn that to millimeters, so that's about 31 millimeters on the inside. This one, again, much smaller. You got about 21.6 millimeters in inches. That's 
two inches under an inch. So that is the inside diameter. Let's look at next the tone. I, I thought it was interesting on the difference in the two tones between these two. Let me get set up for that. Okay, I have a little tone app on my phone and you can see it jumping all over the place here with my voice and identifying the tone. I was never a music person. I never was never in the band. So <laughs> I'm just going to show you what it says on here as full out as the note that you get from these bells. Again, starting with the um, West Viking. And you see, it's like a D7. So we would say that's the note of D on this copper bell. Let's try the next one. And this is the no name brand from AliExpress for $3.19 again. And that one is constantly pushing a G note. So we got D. So can I do this? And we got G. Depending on the note you think's best for your needs. The whole thing is will people hear you? It's the whole key here. Now let's check the volume levels. Let's get set up with that. Right, we got a little decimal meter going here, the, the decimal app that I downloaded. And I'm going to reset it, then I'm gonna be quiet. And we will watch, and really, really we're looking at this last number here, which says max. And you can look at average, but that's where we wanna look. You will notice this is constantly giving a tone, even when I'm quiet, like right now. There's about 46, 47 decibels that it hears something. I don't know what it's listening to. The air conditioner is not running. The fan is not running. But let's zero and see what the max comes to. So we maxed out about 89 on that one. Let's hit reset. There we go. We got about 88 decibels. So they're right in there together, guys. Not much difference between these two. It's just the tone or the note. And I think the note is important, important as far as what do people respond to? What do people respond to? I noticed that, like I said, I've been riding with this one for about two weeks now. Now, I'm going to recommend that if you ride your bike, especially on areas where people are running and jogging, to put a bell of some type on your bicycle. Again, I'm only testing the cheap ones here. This one, and the reason I did that, because you guys know I'm always looking for the inexpensive alternative. This one is in the model of the Nog Nog. Oi, K N O G O I, which seems to be like the standard. Uh, if you look on Amazon, you look up K N O G O I, and that would be the expensive standard of this type of bell. 
they run from 18 and I've seen some for $37. So I don't have those. I'm, I cannot make a comparison. Will not be making a comparison with the more expensive uh, models of these. Couple uh, 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 of these bales. But again, I just really want to recommend that you have a bale on your bike when you, if you ride in populated uh, bike trails and, and stuff like that. I do ride on a somewhat uh, multi-use uh, walking, biking tr uh, trail that people utilize and they got both of their headphones in sometimes so you got to really be careful um, and then you know give them notice ahead of time they're covering the whole bike trail three or four people abreast sometimes and just to let them know you're coming or you can hollow out so I like to use the bell it gives them a nice little tone I'm not hollering at anybody nobody feelings gets hurt try not to because you know how we're all in our feelings these days another thing I want to show you here the last thing I should have showed you in the, in the beginning is that this one is hinged you notice there's a hinge here so when you take the screw out you can hinge it over where you need to mount it on your bike and this one is not so if you have a very thick part of your bike tube that you're trying to put this on you could end up probably snapping it um, it will only really go on at the a, a tube that's of similar size did not this didn't this one did not come with any rubber or anything of course you can use electrical tape or anything if you have a, a slippery issue but it just has a screw and there is no hinge so try not to uh, I would not recommend stretching this over a larger part of your handlebar too but that is it guys wanted to show you those two products again on the cheap side both of them right under five bucks both of them about the same decibels um, just two different notes going on there and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like anything on this channel and of course there will be links to both of these products below I don't get anything out of it they're just simple links to the products if you want to check them out